Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on multi view to isometric view by using Fusion 360. We are given a multi view of the object. We have the top view, we have the front view. We don't have the isometric because I want you to use these views to create the isometric view. Um, we are going to use these dimensions to be able to make them the object. And again, this is the top, front, right view goes here, and the isometric goes to the top. It's going to be always in this order. So I need to go to my Fusion 360, and then I'm going to click Create a Sketch. I want to make the sketch on the front view. And I need to choose the front plane. And when I go back to here, this is already the front plane, and I can see them over here. I have a big rectangular uh, rectangle and it's the size is 3.5 wide and 2.5 height I'm gonna use the rectangle tool and then I need to activate the dimension this part is 3.5 and the height is 2.5 sketch completely turns to black it means this is fully constrained. I'm going to extrude. By looking from the front view, you can see the height of the object and you can see the width of the object. By looking from the top view, you can see the width of the object. Since I have them here, this is unnecessary to put them over here. And you can see the depth of the object and the depth is 1 inch. So I'm going to click finish sketch. I'm going to click extrude. And the extrude is here. You guys don't see them and then it's supposed to be one inch so i'm gonna click the one and i'm gonna click okay now i have one inch depth a rectangular prism next i need to put this hole here on the front plane and then i can see by looking from the top view it goes all the way in because these dash lines tell me when you look at from the front view it means there is underneath this top view, there is an empty space, which is because of this circle. So I'm going to go here, click to create sketch. I need to choose this uh, front face. And then I'm going to click the circle. I can put the circle anywhere. And I believe dimension was 1.5. I'm going to just put the dimension first. The dimension is 1.5. And then I need to locate that where this circle is supposed to be so i need to use these dimensions distance from here to this edge is 1.5 distance from here to bottom is one inches so i'm gonna activate the dimension tool distance from here to bottom is one inch and distance from here to edge is 1.5 sketch turns completely black it means fully constrained i can click the finish sketch extrude i can choose a circle this time instead of adding new body i'm gonna cut it so i'm gonna choose them the cut and then i can look to home either you can drag them all the way back but it's the best way for the parametric design you should put the the O and it goes the wrong direction so we can flip and click OK so I have this hole placed now next I have another hole on the top and the diameter of the hole is 0.5 and this one also goes all the way down because when I look at the front view I can see the dash lines it means that there is behind this face, there is an empty, uh, empty part, which is because of the, this hole here. So it's the 0.5 diameter and the location from the uh, center to bottom of the height is 0.5 and the center to from the side 0.75. I'm going to click create sketch, choose the top and choose the circle supposed to be 0.5 
I'm gonna use the dimension distance from here to here is 0.75 and distance from here to bottom is 0.5 all right, it is fully constrained. Finish sketch. Click extrude. Choose the piece you just designed. It, it goes again wrong direction, and we are supposed to cut it. I need to choose the cut, and then instead of distance, I'm gonna choose the all, and I'm gonna flip the direction so it's gonna go back all the way. I can click the cut. The object is completed. Now I'm gonna uh, check one more time. Yes, I put everything else. Let's create the drawing file. Let's see if we're gonna get the exactly same multi view. So we're gonna save it. Example two dot. And then I'm gonna click file new drawing from this design. And if I check it, it says the size A. So I need to choose the size A. There are two size A. Just choose the 11 inch one. 11 inch by 8.5, which is both of them same. So I choose the first one. I'm gonna click OK. OK. Now from here, it's supposed to be one to one. So I'm gonna click one. And then I'm going to put the front view here. And then I can click OK. Next, I can use the projected view. I just need to click the front face, drag my mouse up. That's my top view. And then I'm going to drag my mouse to diagonally. That's my isometric view. When you click and check, you have the now the isometric view, top and the front view. Right click on the isometric view, edit view, and choose the isometric view by left clicking and change them to shaded view. It's gonna look better. Now I'm gonna activate the dimension tool. Before activating, I would like to put the center mark for the, these circles or the holes. I need to choose the geometry center mark. I just need to click the edge of the circle and click the edge of the this circle now i have the center marks now i can put the dimensions i need to just click the dimension tool okay diameter of this circle 1.5 diameter of the this circle is 0.5 distance from here to here is one inch distance from here to here is 1.5 and this side is 3.5 inches do we have any missing uh, dimension and we just need to put this dimension the height 2.5 inches and then I need to put to this side is one inch. Distance from here to here is 0.75. And distance from here to bottom, that is 0.5. I'm gonna click escape. And I just want them to more organize the dimensions. I'm gonna just click this dimension. And there's a dot over here it's gonna be better i can click here can drag them closer i can click here drag them closer looks it should be easily written for the engineer okay i have all the dimensions here and this one doesn't look good so i can move this one a little bit side now I can move them a little bit more and then here I can click and just move them inside it. Okay, I have all necessary dimensions 
and I believe it looks good. The designer is here. This is how you are gonna make from multi view to isometric, how to draw the object by using Fusion 360. Have a wonderful day.